Okay, so now that we are aware of Laravel's the folder structure, why don't we start creating some of the entities for our application? So we will start with the idea. So we have an application which deals with you know, handling the work allocation in a typical agile methodology so we have stories and epics epics are you know a kind of container to multiple stories so we create an epic let's say to um, allow user registration so now in allow user registration we have quite a few stories which can come in for example the actual registration form let's say sending a verification email you know creating a page where the user can you know click on the link and verify his email and then maybe you know confirm his password things like that so we will first start with the smallest entity possible and we will move up uh, through the chain right now for creating any stories we need user which is already there we can see in the database we have two files which says create user table and create password resets so the next thing which we are trying to do is create the stories. So I'll go to the console and I'll say PHP artisan make model okay, stories, which we had done already. However, this time I'm going to add certain flags. I'm saying I want to also create certain migrations. So dash M, I need factory and I need controller as well. So PHP artisan make model dash MFC stories. All right, so it detected that there was no model. So it created it, it created a, a factory for me, created the migration file, but it detected that the controller exists already. So it has done nothing to it. Okay, so we have our table create stories table right our model is created inside the app folder right migration is there story factory is there and now it's time for us to create the database I have gone ahead and created one database inside my localhost and I would request you to do the same okay my database name is code lab so i will ensure that inside dot env my database name here is code lab as well okay so now that is done what all fields do we need in our in a stories table we'll have quite a few fields in here and i'll try to you know touch quite a few different varieties available through um, Laravel and we will also continue to refer the documentation so that you are you know um, aware of how things are and you know what to look for when you are doing it yourself apart from just you know um, referring to my code so if you search for migrations you will see that there are you know creating tables columns and in here we have a huge list of all the column types which are being supported okay now we will first create a string table uh, sorry string column okay we'll name it title sorry and by default whenever we don't mention a nullable function this assumes that this particular table this column cannot be null which means there should be some value okay so in here in the available in the column types if we go down we will see string which is the equivalent for var care okay let's say our title will be okay let it be 255 characters then we have text 
we will say this is description it can be nullable okay I don't need a description it's not compulsory I can only have the title okay, however we would um, I know tell the user to put up something but anyways that's not mandatory then we so if you see here we have big increments which is you know going to be responsible for creating the primary key this is timestamp this this will create two columns one is created underscore at and create the second one is updated underscore at but we need a date field right date field so that we can assign a due date to it so due date okay again this can be null because there can be tickets which doesn't have a due date uh, they are just like that then we have story points okay we can say it's unsigned integer story points and this can be nullable as well okay I don't expect every, every time every story will have uh, story points then we will have one more string table uh, column sorry which will be story type for now let's move with story type later on we will refactor this to store the ID of a story type instead of the story type itself let's just say this is uh, not nullable okay it, it has to be something basically then we have a table unsigned integer big integer sorry which will reference the user ID of the user table this obviously cannot be nullable nullable we need the you know user who is creating the um, you know, story and we will replicate it and we will say epic underscore ID as well okay so this is going to reference the epic ID in the epic table which we haven't created it okay now we need to add certain um, indexes okay I know uh, you know we are referencing quite a few uh, foreign foreign keys uh, I mean some primary keys inside our table so these are foreign keys so we need to have them inside our table as indexes so I'll add table index right we will index the user ID because we will need to query tickets based on user ID based on epic ID as well okay and we'll see if we need the due date but right now these two are uh, sufficient quickly go over here and inside our factory why don't we copy this okay I'll copy it here all right so this is my factory I have a faker instance available faker is a package which allows me to generate a lot of random content if you want you can go to PHP faker and you will see this package okay which tells you all the different kinds of content that faker can create so faker faker address name text whatever you want we will search for date for a for some time because I think I don't know the exact format so date format max all right so let's start faker uh, sentence okay I'll use this then we have let's just say faker sorry uh, my mistake FAK or faker paragraph we saw that it, there is a date method available so the format will be y m d okay story points i will like to have random uh, let's see is there any random from array random says random html i need something random element right do we have random element random element array 
let's just see. Okay, I can pass an array and it will pick up from there. So random element, story points are basically um, you know, from the Fibonacci series. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Story type, again, we will pick up something from here. What do we have? We have bugs, bug, feature, enhancement. For now, let's keep that. All right, now this is, for now, we'll keep these hard-coded. We'll come to the implementation later. Okay, so we have our model ready. Okay, we haven't done anything in it. Um, why don't we add one property? A protected dollar guarded equals empty. Okay, I'll tell you why. So Laravel has this concept of you know mass assignment of keys to the model okay and we still have the option to say that you know there are certain things which should not be automatically mass assigned and so what we can do is for example if you see the user table okay we have only these things as fillable right because name email and password can be created but i don't want the remember token to be created just like that i mean it is being created through some logic and so the create method by default will not have the ability to assign these values okay all right so we have guarded as empty our table name complies with the standard which is you know my stories module will look for a table called stories Hmm, I think I got that wrong. Uh oh. So, let me see. My table name is stories. I'll rename this to story. And accordingly, I'll change the model name. and this as well okay so let's see if everything is in place and are we able to generate the table php artisan migrate hit refresh we have the tables now we will run php artisan tinker tinker is a small little application which we can run in our console to kind of execute a lot of php and laravel based commands so in here i'll run factory and story i'll create five let's see if it is being done oh, sorry my cool. okay it says no class story was not found why don't we do a composer dump auto load? Because I renamed the class. So now it is able to create five random entries. Sorry, in our database. We can see that we have used factory to create five random entries. Okay, and now we will look at how we can get them on a page. So, based on the MVC pattern right now, why don't we close everything and go to the web.php file and we have a route which says there is one route which is stories. Okay, it's a get URL, goes to the stories controller index page. Fair enough. Let's open stories controller. So, why don't we say I'll have a stories variable and it will be I'll query the, sto uh, the story table 
order by I'll just say created at descending so the top one will be the most recent okay and I'll have get and why don't we return dollar stories let's come to our Laravel application and hit stories sorry there's a typo and we have our stories returned in a JSON format okay so our controller is communicating with our model and it is able to create some data now how do we pass it to a view okay we have make view I'm curious to know make no we don't so why don't we touch resources views story slash story index dot blade dot php so touch is basically a way to create a file okay the folder doesn't exist and hence i have a problem why don't we go to our resources folder inside views i create a new file instance inside stories index dot blade dot php i'll name it story dash index dot blade dot php so that it is easy for me to understand for now we will return calling a view function stories dot story index so what is happening here we made a call to the model we got certain stories then we are loading a view okay view is a blade file and the convention is inside the views folder the first thing is the folder dot then story index if i have one more folder then it can be let's say the folder all dot story index so you go dot dot and then another final file name now this is the view i need to pass data to my view so i can do two things i can write something like stories and pass the stories this is absolutely fine i will have the stories variable here dump is a way to you know uh, show certain output of a variable so i can see everything in here so that is one way of doing it i can also do something like uh, with stories okay this will work and if i want to i can also do compact stories and this undefined variable stories okay that's strange oh yeah so all the three syntaxes are possible they will give you the exact same result however what i do is i prefer this and i will continue to do this okay it's a little more you know, verbose and easy to understand what is happening. So I'm saying that I'm sending stories, okay, dollar stories as stories. At any point of time, I can even change this variable name and I don't need to tweak anything in here. So this gives me this flexibility. And we have something in our view, right? So this is, guys, the way we get the data inside our MVC structure. We have some data being thrown to the user from a simple get request thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel